Do y'all know my intro? My name's Brenda. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> is it the intro where you like parody everyone else's other intro? That was the first video. Have you not watched any of like, my other videos? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dalton. <laughs> Dalton James. One of my really good friends and a blog that I've been following, she was in an eggnog review on the Trader Joe's eggnog. So um, we're going to taste that today, see what it tastes like, and um, do kind of like our own little review. I'm going to link her blog below, so go give her a check of that out. It's a What the Ellie blog. Um, her name's Ellie, and she's one of my really good friends. She's got lots of cooking and travel and um, all these fun recipes on there. I'm sure this won't be the first one that we actually see, and um, I'm hoping for a little collab between me and her in the future. So in Ellie's vlog, Ellie's blog, blog, blog. Um, Ellie went to Trader Joe's and got their Trader Joe's brand almond milk eggnog, I think is what it's called. I don't have a Trader Joe's anywhere near me, so I'm gonna see if Whole Foods has something similar, and then if not, maybe e. Harris Teeter. We have eggnog. So I swear that every time I go to Whole Foods, it's raining. Like, Whole Foods doesn't have their own branded eggnog, but they do have an almond milk one sold by Khalifa, and I love Khalifa milk. Not sponsored, should be. Hit me up, Khalifa. Um, so I got actually some Khalifa eggnog and Khalifa um, peppermint mocha. Sounds really good. They're both made out of almond milk. Okay, so we are back at my house, and you might notice that there are actually three glasses. That's because for the first time ever on my vlog, we are gonna actually have, I keep looking at the viewfinder, we're gonna actually have um, some guests with us today. So we're excited to see what's gonna happen and who's gonna come there, because they're gonna do some of this review with me. And I'm excited to see them. They'll be coming soon. Come on, you stars. Do you all fit? <laughs> we actually go to the fridge and get the eggnog. Yeah. Thank you. So this is my friend Taylor and this is my Hi. friend Bridget. And we work together at a um, pretty large tech company. Hey, and, that's it. and we are our co-workers and they're gonna Hi. be my first ever like guest on my channel. Can I give you a suggestion? Yeah. Do you have paper coffee filters? No. Is that tissue paper over there? If you were to put three sheets of tissue paper over this, it would be a much better experience for everyone involved. <laughs> I can. No, so, it's very bright. I can see if tissue okay, paper. Okay, so Dalton. Let's play a game called How Many Times Taylor Can Interrupt Me in My Own Video. I'm just gonna edit out the name of this coworker. But we have a coworker who, to literally everyone else in the world, was clearly Asian. Like her ethnicity was clearly Asian. And one of our coworkers, um, I like this he, story time. he was looking <laughs> at it. And from what I hear, he like got a like quizzical look on his face and was like, wow, do you think the lights are that bright? And it was what? so bad. It was There'll be like a dolphin noise over the name or something. Oh, I want a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> One of our coworkers who's like a fourth Japanese was in the room and she like looked at him and she's from the deep south just like him. So I think she immediately understood. Well, Charlotte's not like that deep, but she's not from Charlotte. <laughs> so I think she understood immediately that he was being racist. <laughs> I mean, not blatantly racist, but like what is the fourth Asian person. Japanese. She's a quarter Japanese. Um, but yeah, moral of the yeah. story: the bright, the lights weren't that bright. I'm sure they were, but but I mean, it's a stage. Like everyone's like looking. She was Asian. You gotta know, we work for like a very large tech company, and so I will fix it in a minute. We like made sure that he like came correct. We we corrected him very quickly. See, that okay, still that's still okay. doesn't. Ah! See, I told you to move you guys. We, we had a we had an earthquake in North Carolina. <laughs> it happened in high school. You were in college. <laughs> I was forty five. <laughs> <laughs> About to try the Khalifa Farms Holiday Eggnog Almond Milk. Are you pronouncing that correctly, Khalifa? Khalifa. Like, like, Wiz Khalifa. I've always called it Khalifa. Because it it's like, because it's there's oh, an it's Ia at the end. It's Califia. <laughs> it's only fifty calories. Um, how do you pronounce? Less sugar, no saturated fat, only fifty calories. Excellent source of calcium. Yeah. This is actually one of their apps. Oh, Califia. 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 So, um, 
Calafia, also at Calafia, if you want to sponsor me, I do take sponsorships, um, <laughs> obviously. So we're gonna each drink some of those, do a first reaction to it. Um, I get this, number one, because it's less calories, but also because I'm lactose intolerant, so. Oh, that's so smart. Is this gonna taste good? <laughs> no, we're reviewing it, we're doing it live. Have you, are you really lactose intolerant? Yeah, I can't, I can't have, like, is, that, is that enough for each of us? I, think, uh, I feel like it's like a little like a first more try. than necessary for me. <laughs> Wait, so how long have you been lactose? Um, I found out, I think it was my junior year in college. I was studying for exams once and I literally thought I was going to die. I had so much pain in my stomach. And um, I kept, I was like, oh, maybe the milk was bad. And then the next day I had cream in my coffee and I was sick again, like literally like sick. I couldn't study for exams. And then I did like, I, I would like drink Halo Top. We're not drinking it yet. I'm not drinking it. I would like have Halo Top ice cream or something like that. And I would always end up getting sick. And so I found this out like two years now. I still will sometimes have dairy, like if I like want to die and cry, but if I don't, then I'll get this. But I've been drinking this milk for a long time. My One of my friend's boyfriends, like or now fiance. Brand? Yeah, Calafia, right? Yeah, we just got that pronunciation. So Calafia, I've been drinking that. They have almond milk and it's real good. And you're suddenly singing along to the carols and you're <laughs> snuggling closer. Wait, did someone just walk back? But what one of assistant managers at work is Dalton's next door neighbor, um, and he just walked past the He saw us vlogging. Snuggling closer to your loved ones and sharing. My loved ones! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Can we just try it? The original blog used blog? Trader. Yeah, I'm using blog? Um, the original blog? Yeah, it's a blog. Oh, I love blogs. So it's my friend blog. Her name's Ellie. Her name is Blog. Her name is Ellie, and her blog the is called blog. What the Ellie. And her she blog did or blog? blog. The original like, blog. blog. I like thought you she said typed her blog's name was the original blog. Yes, the typed blog. <laughs> Why would you talk? Are there pictures? Blog? She yeah, she has pictures, and she talks okay, about. Okay, so she's a foodie. I can't. <laughs> Don't demand it. Just let it happen. Oh, what would make this perfect is if you had a little dash of egg nutmeg on it. This isn't Starbucks. I can't just like. Do bring you not it. have nutmeg? I do. Just a lot of work. It kind of smells like your that kitchen cinnamon is less <laughs> than fifteen feet away. Uh, tastes like watered down eggnog. It literally just tastes like watered down eggnog. Yeah, I've never it's like, had eggnog before. You've never had. Okay, let me not be so harsh because, like, honestly, <laughs> for what it is, number one, eggnog has a lot of calories. Like, if you take a sip of eggnog, you're, like, getting into a 100 calories bare minimum. Well, no, so I looked at the typical eggnog is 220 calories per serving. Jesus. Which is he four runs times. The dead. But also, this is only 50 calories per serving, lightly sweetened. Do I put my hand behind it? It's really sweet. Um, it's actually, like, really sweet. Yeah. I think it's because the almonds are, like, naturally sweet. Right. And are so it's sweet? also dairy-free. So the fact that it only tastes like watered-down eggnog, that's honestly a compliment. Kudos to you, California. <laughs> so, just so everyone knows, I'll put up the whole nutrition facts. It is 50 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, 90 grams of sodium, 9 grams of carbs, and 8 grams of sugar, and 1 gram of protein. God, I wish I had 1.5 grams of fat. Same, sis. Max. <laughs> um, so, I mean, it's good. I'm sure regular eggnog has, like, more protein in it because it's made out of milk, but, like... And eggs. And I don't think real eggnog has eggs in it. That's why, why I've been not been drinking eggnog. eggnog. I think it's because it's like the taste. I don't think it's actually made out of eggs. Oh, eggnog yeah. is typically made with get milk. In the, you get in the, thank you, look at the camera. Milk, <laughs> cream, sugar, whipped egg whites, and egg yolk. Yolks. Ooh, what is that? That's an egg bee. Do you hear Beetle? Yeah. Shout outs to Beetle. Beetle's the cat. Should have been named Salem. It's not even your cat. But she'll never watch this. Um, for all of Dalton's yeah, true fans, Dalton no, doesn't it. have a cat. He has a dog named Alabama, uh, which is number one, <laughs> the best name I've ever heard for a dog. But also because it was introduced to me, for a solid month and a half, I knew this dog is Allie. And that's what we call her. We call her Allie. And I mean, your, do your dog's name is Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> That's the cutest shit I've ever heard. Uh, moral of the story is, for like a long time, I knew this dog is Allie, and then all of a sudden, Dalton's just like. Her name is Alabama, and I was like, but I also have a savings account. I did, and then it was empty, so I deleted it. Maybe it wouldn't be empty if you are buying pop sockets of another YouTuber's crying face. <laughs> it's so funny, Fun though. tip. 
fans. <laughs> Don't spend your money on stupid shit. Only on that? AirPods. <laughs> you can spend it on things that actually matter. No, because like, so I like to drink eggnog like all through December. And this is like a really good alternative to. <laughs> <laughs> you said eggnog. Oh, I drink we're eggnog. We're trying the next one, the cold brew. We're I know, but we're, I still have to finish talking about the eggnog. We drink eggnog all we throughout. Drink my Jesus Christ, I need to have a shut up. Like, we can compare it to, like, you like the Starbucks eggnog latte, right? Oh my god. Uh, we can... Peppermint hot chocolate. Pep H. So, we will compare it. Pep H. I had firsthand experience of what goes into this drink. It's so moving. So, I have a secondhand experience of what goes into this drink. <laughs> um, and it's no any, ex ed like, extra, um, Pumps? sugar, or, like, uh, pumps of syrup, or syrup. anything. Syrup! What actually what they do when they make the drink? <laughs> I'm not okay. In case you want to. So in case y'all are wondering why we're laughing so hard, um, my tripod broke right in that first video. So I was using a gimbal, and on a gimbal it like moves to stabilize the photo. But Taylor and Bridget and I kept hitting the table, so it kept moving. <laughs> so the camera like kept moving away from us. So we were laughing and dying. Plus it was like 1 a.m. So it was not it was not a good time. Not, not fresh. Is when they steam the milk, they do half of the eggnog. It's called cutting the eggnog with non-fat milk, so it's less calories. Okay. And all it is is steamed eggnog and espresso. And espresso, like a shot of espresso, I don't think. I think it's five like, calories. It's literally it's like nothing. nothing. And so the fact that their latte is four hundred and fifty calories. That's sixteen fluent ounces cut in half with non-fat milk. That means that if you drank 16 fluid ounces of Starbucks eggnog, you would be drinking 900 calories. Oh. That's insane. Because like, so let's think, so that's 16. This this serving size is only four, so quarter of that. But still, that's, quarter of 900 is what, 250? Yeah, math. I can't do math. Um, that's still what? five times the amount of this. So Starbucks eggnog is five times as unhealthy, as five times unhealthier. Five and times yeah, less so healthy. even though we're saying that this tastes like watered down eggnog, it's not that bad. It's that's so good for the calorie count. Like I'm quaking, I'm shaking, I'm shook. Kitty on camera. There's a cat. There's a cat. There's a little hand on the cat. Little get hand on the cat. Get him. Cat, get him. Okay, <laughs> so we're now going to try the Califia. This is peppermint mocha. Yeah. Is it gonna taste good? I think. Yeah, I love. So it's a peppermint chocolate. mocha, cold brew with almond milk. Basically a peppermint. Apple. So basically a peppermint. There's coffee in it still. Okay, but still. Oh, we're gonna drink coffee this later. <laughs> we're actually gonna drink cold brew. So. <laughs> so just so you know, because you're worried about the caffeine content, it says it's mild caffeine, which means it's less than 50 milligrams per serving, and a cup of coffee is 60. So it's less caffeine than a cup of coffee. Wow. So you could drink this on a late night in yeah. December if you wanted to. Even though it's, it's not December in, yet. It's gonna be posted <gasps> on December. It's December 1st! <gasps> Happy Christmas! Oh my gosh, it's Christmas! <laughs> okay, so we are. Are you tasting it without the rest of us? No, I was smelling it. <laughs> <laughs> we just went over this. It smells good. Ooh. I don't get a lot of peppermint. I Did do. we shake it? Like mix it? Yeah, I shook it. Because you know, sometimes with flavors, artificial they flavors, do, like, they settle yeah. at the bottom. Let's give it like a. Almond milk always has like some settlage. Is that a word? Settlage? Settoulage. No, Settoulage. no additional. Flavor. Okay. Um, it could use some more peppermint. Yeah. I love it because I taste the cold brew. Yeah. But the cold brew isn't overpowering. Because sometimes you get cold brew and it's like molasses, like it's very thick. But do y'all also taste like a weird chalky? I do not get chalk. I like it because I like, I'm the type of person, type of girl, who- That one had more peppermint in it, sorry. I enjoy, it's your channel, you can interrupt me. Um, yeah, okay. I'm the type of girl who I really like flavored coffee drinks. Oh, it's a basic micro drink. Like, no, like I just love a good flavored coffee drink. and. Not only do I taste the coffee in this, but the mocha really enhances the coffee flavor. I do think there could be more peppermint, but at the same time, girl, get a candy cane crunched up, put it in there if you want that. This shit's good. Actually, that could be really good if you like actually put oh, candy cane in it. it in yeah. That. yeah. That'd be really good. This honestly would give me right 
like to go into work. Yeah. yeah. I would drink it in the morning. Yeah, because I feel a little it's energized. Like, it's kind of like one of those like little frappuccino things, but like not as <laughs> overpowering. Right. With, like a hint of like somebody like put a peppermint in there and just kind of let it melt. Right. I like how she said that whole thing out of frame. <laughs> <laughs> but like it tastes like I'm drinking like a cold drink from Starbucks like a peppermint mm-hmm. mocha left out overnight on yeah. my nightstand that I put into the fridge and then, and then I came like... back from work the next morning because I was not at home that night <laughs> girl. and I drink it <laughs> and it's good there will be a video coming later we actually went to a frat party we crashed a frat, we crashed party. A frat party I'm 27 <laughs> I'm too old to be at a frat party, she's passable. Me, not so much. I mean, I think we look about the same age, though. Um, In the comments below, cute. let us know if you think we're the same Don't age. Don't comment. For full disclosure, um, this was... Wait, 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 wait. Was the... The first one approved by the trio? Were we okay with it or no? What were your thoughts? Yes or no to the eggnog? No. But you also don't like eggnog. I've never had eggnog before that, and if that's what eggnog tastes like, I don't like eggnog. One no. Okay, so for me, I'm going to get it, give it a yes because. Do we have the bottle? Six times. Is that no, it's back in the fridge. Yeah. Okay. I am going to give it a yes because I think for an eggnog alternative, and also for it being dairy free, it tastes very good. I'm gonna say yes for the same reasons. But for the second one, Brit, it's actually yeah. giving me some energy. We're getting it approved. I'm getting it. Thumbs up. Yeah, it was very delicious. I bet I you would drink it before work. Cause you like peppermint hot chocolate. I love peppermint hot chocolate, and I love those little frappuccino glass jar thingies from Starbucks. Yeah. Two favorite things, kind of mixed into one. A little, not watered down, cause it wasn't kind of like a watery taste, but definitely a little more subdued. Yeah, not as thick. Mm, yeah. I like that subdued. Cause those frappuccino things sometimes make my stomach hurt. And this does not make my stomach hurt. You're probably lactose intolerant. <laughs> well, but also, I think you mostly get those frappuccino drinks outside of a machine. Yes. Yeah, that's <laughs> not the same thing. Machine. Not, not even at like a grocery store, like legit out of a vending machine. Yeah. So I'm also going to give it a yes. I will say I didn't like it as much as the eggnog. I preferred the eggnog to this. But I do like this. I could probably drink it on my way to work. No. no. I Sorry, the camera was dying. <laughs> um, I do agree with you. I think it would like benefit from having more peppermint. Mm-hmm. And I also think it would be really good if I like had a peppermint in it and was dipping it in it and like actively like. <laughs> so each of these were at Whole Foods for four fifty. So that's actually not that bad because there's what six servings in each one. So you know that's a lot of stuff moment to thank Dalton James for having me on his channel. Yay! Um, are we the first I, visitors? Yeah, you are the first guest on my channel. Oh my can I drop like my Instagram or something? Yes, if you would like to follow Taylor, you can follow him on Instagram at minus the swift. Because my name's Taylor, get it? And honestly, like, let me know if that sounds too much like a fan account. So it's like, I feel like it sounds like kind of cute because minus the bear. Now follow me at soft underscore butch on Instagram. 46 okay, minutes I content. changed it to the traditional MySpace of soft x butch. Soft x butch. Uh, but for the record, I was the original soft underscore butch at Instagram. And um, my Instagram and Twitter are Dalton James M, and my Snapchat is it's Dalton James M. Be sure to go ahead and give those a follow. And hey, one thing you shouldn't forget about is doing what you do on other YouTube videos, because this one's a good channel too. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave us a comment below. Thank you so much, and we will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>